today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Military figures have been found in ancient Egyptian tombs and have appeared in many cultures and eras. Tin soldiers were produced in Germany as early as the 1730s by molding the metal between two pieces of slate. Toy soldiers became widespread during the 18th century inspired by the military exploits of Frederick the Great. Military soldiers were also used in the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries by military strategists to plan battle tactics by using the figures to show the locations of real soldiers. In 1893, the British toy company William Britton revolutionized the production of toy soldiers by devising the method of hollow casting, making soldiers that were cheaper and lighter than their German counterparts. In addition to Britons, there have been many other manufacturers of toy soldiers over the years. For example, John Hill and Company produced hollow cast lead figures in the same style and scale. Companies such as Elastilin and Lineal were well known for their composite figures made of glue and sawdust that included both military and civilian subjects. After 1950, rising production costs and the development of plastic meant that many shopkeepers liked the lighter, cheaper, and far less prone to break in transit polythene figure. This led to greater numbers of plastic toy for soldiers. The first American plastic soldiers were made by Beaton as early as 1937. The first plastic so toy soldiers produced in Great Britain were made in 1946 by Airfix before they became known for their famous model kits range. One large historical producer in plastic was Lewis Marks & Company, which produced both realistic soldiers of great detail and also historical collections of plastic men and women, including the Presidents of the United States Collection, Warriors of the World, Generals of World War II, Jesus and the Apostles, and figures from the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. Marks also produced boxed playsets that featured many famous battles with armies of two sides, character figures, and terrain features. Britons produced plastic figures under the brand names of Herald and Detail. Also in England, the scale model company Airfix produced a variety of high quality plastic sets which were frequently painted by hobbyists. Many Airfix figures were imitated by other companies and reproduced as inexpensive bagged plastic army men. Tempo Toys, Britain's main competitor in terms of sales and quality in the 1960s and 70s, developed the over-molding system. Different colored plastics were injected into the mold at various stages creating a fully colored figure without the need of paint. During the 1990s, the production of metal toy grade painted figures and connoisseur grade painted toy soldiers increased to serve the demands of the collector's market. The style of many of these figures shifted from the traditional gloss coat enamel paint to the matte finished acrylic paint, which allows for greater detail and historical accuracy. The change was largely inspired by the introduction of very high quality painted figures from St. Petersburg, Russia.